pumping up, pumping high, pumping up. It really feels like flying, coming up just like a lion. With the increase in carbohydrate and fats, I actually don't know what to eat. Um, I got so much left over, you know, and uh, not getting in the last meal, I figured something out. I was left over with 170 carbs, um, protein 30, like I said, and uh, fats 25. I took four omega-3 fish oils, so that's also four grams of fat. Um, but let's get in to this meal. Three bread slices. We got two slices with honey and cinnamon. These slices, four slices are with full cream butter. And chicken. So that will be it. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> and the fruit. That's it. Holy fuck, the sun is sharp. So, we are getting in into our meal. We haven't brought any, yeah, only the whey protein for the uh, for the shake. But uh, I'm a little bit hungry. It's now uh, 12 p.m. And uh, I got myself some bread. Two pieces, got five eggs. A little bit of ketchup. Salt, pepper, that's basically it. So, uh, let's... Uh, get some food in and get less hungry so when I get back home that will be approximately 3 p p.m. we uh, go into our lower body workout and uh, see how many proteins carbs and fat I got left over we'll see oh yeah it's prepared and done you know it's not that I like this stuff like this stuff but I know it gets the job done and that's basically what's the most important thing of all staying consistent you know I don't care I like it actually so let's dig in the first one easy and simple
it's time to end the third day of Darlene Bulk, which was a good one, of course. A lot of food, just with 50 carbohydrates extra and just with 10 fats extra. Sometimes I just even don't know what to eat. I actually get 25 carbs left over right now, but hey, I'm just okay, feeling pretty okay. So we will leave that 25 carbs, you know, being flexible, no problem at all. Yeah, tomorrow, third workout, it's Wednesday, and uh, it's gonna be pool. And we are on the half of this week. As you know, we are training six times a week. Proper gains, veins beneath the skin, popping out at this particular weight. Time to get in some casein right here. So probably 35 grams. Pow. Hmm, a little bit more is in frozen fruits are in let's shake it i have our shake here uh coffee second one of the day and two crackers i just craving a lot of peanut butter today and boom mama it's uh how do you call that like fruit spread mm, jen let's do this so Breaking the fast. Second coffee, as you already know. Peanut butter jelly crackers. Fork. Oh. And a casein shake. That's it. <clears throat> the reason why I'm taking in the casein in the morning and pretty much all day long. Well, there's nothing a real reason to it. I just do it. You know, uh, although it's a little bit slow releasing protein, whatever. Um, I'm still taking it in, so, you know, it still counts for the amount of protein you're taking on a daily basis. So that's the most important thing of all. And uh, I don't know, it gets me more satiated than normal whey protein. Um, so yeah, why not? Tastes very good. Thick shake, texture is good, better than whey protein. It's like fluffy. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, triple beer here with the sugar man for triple the carbs. Beer over here for the carbs and the breasts. For your, for the breasts. And again, the minerals, right? Absolutely. So he's going for a tiramisu. Let's hit it. Very good. Perfect. I didn't have any popcorn because I was stuffed as as fuck from uh, my dinner post workout meal. So now hitting a beer, it's good enough. Maybe when I get home, huh? taking a shake. There it is. Look at it. Look at it. Oh yes. It's the sugar man. All right. We are done with the beer, bro. I'm done, sir. Yes. When we drink beer, it's it's not the usual Heineken. Right. Heineken. What do we drink? What do we drink? Tell the people. It's called Zeiser. Zeezuiper, it's a sea uh, sea drinker. I sea think. drinker. Sea drinker. If you translate it as sea drinker. Basically, it's a cra crafted beer. Crafted beer. Crafted beer. And when we drink beer, it's most of the time triple beer, right. so higher alcohol content. Uh, we only drink two beers today, and we already feel that shit. We already feel it. Oh boy. Everything is spinning right now, oh. but in a nice way. In a nice way, just enough. Just enough. Just enough. Well, ladies and gentlemen, have a good night. Have a good night, people. Have a good night. A good it's night. the Sugar Man.
time for some food. I just had three shakes today, and I could fit in 12, 12 hot wings. So we're gonna day in that motherfucker. Oh, yes. 12 pieces of goodness right here. Box one, box two. And here we are again. Yesterday it was beer. Today is another beer. And a vape. Triple beer. Today was a very busy day. Um, it is now like uh, 9.30 p.m. And um, we only had two, two shakes. And I just went into the gym. It was a crazy workout. And had 150 grams of turkey chicken. So we are left over with 1800 calories. Conditioning is like insane. <sighs> See the van here. Today I was weighing in like 78 kilograms, 78.2. Uh, weight is not doing much, but uh, we're going to have some hamburgers. Two of them. To get all my protein in, I got enough carbs, I got enough fats, you know, and uh, so I can have that. I think it will be a good one. Another day with the boys. <laughs> and after this, of course, we're gonna have two hamburgers because we have a lot of calories left over. We're getting a little thin cheeks. <laughs> Only time to fill up some macronutrients here. Oh, yeah. And yes, finally. JJ. Irish, Irish. Irish. First time Irish. He's always ordering chicken. I said, hey, dude, you need to eat beef. And now he is. With the fries. Proper. ask me hey how do you know all this stuff you know and it really comes down to your own motivation dedication to basically grab the books you need to expand your knowledge and also it is important that you know where to buy from which books to choose because there are a lot of shitty books so this is one of the three books that I ordered um, it's a dummy Dummy books are actually pretty good if you want to know the easy basics of certain uh, issues or um, yeah, certain um, how do you call that? I don't even know. 
you want to know more about the specific thing, you know, I really recommend Just Dummies to start with. You know, this, uh, like I said again, it's one of the three books that I ordered about chemistry. Uh, the one is more harder than the other, uh, but it all starts with learning the basics. Uh, Organic Chemistry Number One by Arthur Winter, PhD. Uh, so we're gonna start with this one. Uh, get to know more about organic chemistry, what's in it for me and to understand. So I can read the second book, which is even harder. It's in Dutch basically. Um, and then we have another one um, that someone sent me, um, which is the hardest one. But hey, if you want to really understand every single aspect of the human body, you need to know it to the single cell, what happens. You know, and if you know all this, it all comes together. That everything you are applying, that everything you are using uh, for your information falls in a puzzle in together, in together. The human body is very, very uh, complex. You know, in everything it does and to understand it's, I think in my belief, it's one of the most sophisticated systems in uh, this planet. You know, everything comes down to the molecules, atoms, and all that stuff. And this is basically what we're going to learn in this baby. So again, it's just a dummy. It's good to start with. Everything you want to know about it. Then get into the harder stuff. And even then go into the more harder stuff. And if I need to have some guidance, I know my people where I can ask someone. Brain Games number two arrived. Let's open it. So it's a learning book in Dutch about metabolism and the uh, newest version from FC Schuit. Oh, that's a... Mm-hmm. Maracambia. Mmm. Love it. Mmm. Keep working on those brain games, bro. Oh, what the hell did I saw? Oh, 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 holy crap. Oh. 